Hey guys, today I'm doing a review and a demo of the Skysonic Pickups Pro One acoustic guitar pickup. Skysonic Pickups are relatively new to the North American acoustic guitar scene, but they have already made quite a name for themselves in China, Japan, Korea, and the Southeast Asian music community. They offer a wide variety of pickups and price ranges, the Pro One being their top model. The Pro One is an active three source acoustic guitar pickup. So, what does that mean? Active essentially means that the unit runs off a battery, which is going to be installed inside the guitar. Three source means that the pickup is capturing the sound of your acoustic guitar from three different places and in three different ways, and we're going to dive deeper into what that means here shortly. So what's inside the box? First we're going to find the sound hole pickup. This is pretty much the command center for this pickup system. The unit gets installed inside the sound hole of the acoustic guitar and provides two of the three sound sources which we just mentioned. The first sound source being these magnetic pole pieces on top of the unit. These pick up the vibration of the strings. The pole pieces are adjustable so you can move each one in or out to get the perfect string to string volume balance. The magnetic pickup is very feedback resistant and gives a great bass sound for the other sources to build off of. The second sound source is located on the bottom of the sound hole pickup, and it's a small but mighty condenser microphone. Microphones are generally considered to be the best way to capture the sound of any acoustic instrument. This will pick up any body percussion you're doing on the guitar and just bring a lot of definition and air to the pickup sound. Also on the sound hole pickup, you're going to find three volume wheels. These are used to mix the three sound sources together. If you want more or less of the microphone sound, you can control that with this volume wheel. There's a master volume wheel, and this third wheel controls the, sound, controls the volume of the soundboard transducer, which we're going to get to shortly. Also located on the bottom of this pickup are two tiny switches, the first being a phase switch. Phase switches are super helpful in a live situation where you might be having some feedback issues. Often flicking the switch one way or the other will significantly reduce or even completely eliminate any feedback that you might be having. And I'm super happy about this because many, many times I've been saved from feedback by just a simple flick of a phase switch. So they're really helpful. The second switch here is a mono or stereo switch, which I'm going to explain a little further on in the video. Moving on, we have the soundboard transducer. This is the third sound source, the first being the magnetic sound hole pickup and the second being the microphone. The soundboard transducer picks up the sound of the wood of your guitar. And this is what makes an acoustic guitar sound like an acoustic guitar, the vibrations of the wood. Uh, this pickup gets glued inside of the guitar directly underneath the saddle. It comes with a peelable sticky side, which we will use to get it stuck in there. Once it's stuck, we're going to connect it to the command center or the sound hole pickup, like so. Next, we have a battery clip and an end pin jack. The end pin jack gets installed into the tail of the guitar, and it's where you'll be plugging in your patch cord to play through an amplifier or a PA system. The battery clip is pretty self-explanatory. It's what's going to connect the battery to the sound hole pickup and give the whole unit its power. Finally, we have the battery, which is contained inside a little bag with a sticky on back and this is going to be glued inside your guitar where wherever it's most accessible and also there's a baggie that contains all the tools that you need to install this pickup inside your guitar and there's an instruction manual that's short and sweet has just the basic information about what you need to know about this pickup
I installed this pickup in my Taylor 214 CE, which previously had the standard Taylor EST system installed. The installation was very smooth and it took maybe 45 minutes to an hour. I started the setup with the soundboard transducer. To get it in place, I used a trick that I learned from installing K&K contact pickups, which involves making a little cardboard jig, which you can see here, to hold the pickup in the correct position and ensure that it gets installed directly underneath the saddle. I'll put a link down below in the description that explains that whole process. The soundboard transducer is stuck very well and feels very solid. Next up was the 9 volt battery. I decided to situate the battery to the neck block of the guitar, and like the soundboard transducer, it stuck really well. Finally, I connected all the cables to the sound hole pickup. Because my guitar still has the Taylor EST system installed, I couldn't do a permanent installation because of the real estate that the Taylor system takes up inside the guitar. So for now, I just have the end pin jack trailing out of the sound hole, and I'm hoping to have the Taylor system removed and the Pro One permanently installed sometime in the next couple weeks. All right, here's how it sounds. So first, we're going to just hear the magnetic pickup by itself, and then we're going to blend in the mic and the soundboard transducer to give you an idea of how the different sources mix together. Uh, I'm going to start by doing a little bit of uh, fingerstyle picking, and then I'm going to do a bit of strumming. <laughs> So earlier in this video, I mentioned the mono stereo switch, which can be found on the bottom of the sound hole pickup. When this switch is set to mono, all three of the sound sources are mixed together on board and a single mono signal will be sent out from your guitar. When the stereo switch is engaged, two signals get sent out from your guitar. One signal being the sound of the magnetic pickup and the mic blended together, and the other signal being the sound of the soundboard transducer. Uh, this opens up a whole new world of mixing possibilities. Using a stereo cable, you can send the separate signals to an outboard mixer or a preamp where you can finely tune or increase decrease gain or EQ or add effects to each signal independent of the other. Here is the sound of the standalone soundboard transducer followed by the sound of the mic and the magnetic blended together. Alright, here are my thoughts on the Pro One. First, I really like the amount of control that you have with this pickup. Uh, the three volume wheels give you a huge amount of control over the sound. It's quick and easy to experiment with the mix to find the best sound for the environment that you're in, uh, be it stage or studio. And on top of all that, you have the mono stereo switch, which gives you a whole nother level of control. 
Uh, you can EQ just the soundboard transducer or, or you know, add reverb just to the magnetic. And it's just, there's a lot of options there. And like I said earlier, I really like that they added a handy phase switch to the bottom of the pickup. It's only a small switch, but it can be super helpful in the right situation if you're on a loud stage. Um, a lot of pickup manufacturers don't have that on their pickups, and I just thought that was a great, a great touch. Another thing that I really liked about this pickup was the ease of access you have to the controls. Everything that's available to be switched or turned is right under your right hand. So it only takes, you know, a second or two to, to reach in there and either flick the phase switch or the stereo switch or to turn one of the volume wheels. It's super fast and it makes things very easy when you're on a busy stage. And what's most awesome about this pickup is, of course, the sound. Each of the three sources brings its own character to the overall sound. The magnetic pickup has a very round, a very thick bass sound. Some might compare it to the famous Sunrise Sound Hole pickup. The soundboard transducer brings a really woody mid-range quality to the sound that helps your guitar cut through the mix and it picks up any body percussion that you might be doing. Uh, finally, the microphone really brings alive the ac acoustic quality of the sound, capturing the real tone of your instrument. The microphone picks up the airy trebles of your guitar, giving the sound a real sort of intimacy. And what really surprised me about this pickup is the amount of feedback resistance it has. Even with the mic and the soundboard transducer dialed in at maximum volume, the pickup could achieve surprisingly high volume levels before running into feedback. I played a solo guitar show in a little theater in my hometown uh, the day after I got this pickup installed, and I was able to run the microphone at 10 for the whole duration of the show without having any feedback troubles. So that was super, super nice to see. And once again, if you did run into feedback issues, you always have the phase switch there to give you a hand. If I had to make any criticisms about the Pro One, I would have to say uh, I wish there was a bit more volume available with the soundboard transducer when it's in mono mode. Uh, I really love the sound that it brings to the mix, and it would just be a little bit sweeter if I could make it a bit more prominent. Luckily, this issue is really easy to fix if you switch it into stereo mode, because now you have complete control over the volume of both the magnetic and the mic and the soundboard transducer, so you can mix it however you like. Also, I noticed there is a slight hum coming from the magnetic pickup when it's switched into stereo mode. It's only really noticeable during periods of silence, and oddly enough, it seems to disappear when the master volume is all the way at 10. It's pretty much inaudible. Uh, any lower than this and the sound appears. If it's at 8, you can you can hear it. So not really a huge issue, but maybe in like a studio environment or something, it might cause a tiny bit of frustration. And finally, the manual. The manual is only, the English part of the manual is only four pages long. And it doesn't contain very much information about the installation of the system. And for those who've installed acoustic guitar pickups before, uh, the instruction might not really be necessary, but for someone who's installing an acoustic guitar pickup for the first time, I think it's important that they have some instruction on how to correctly position the soundboard transducer and how to put in the end pin jack. So it'd be nice if they included that in there. But it does give you the basic information about the pickup, the most important, most important bits. So overall, I am super happy with my new pickup system. It's, in my opinion, a big upgrade over the Taylor system that I've been using for a while. Uh, it's a much bigger sound, much more acoustic sounding, and I gotta give a big thank you to Skysonic Pickups for keeping the innovation train going in the world of acoustic guitar pickups. And it's been great testing this thing out. So big thanks, and I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Cheers.